Uh, my name is David and I'm going to show you in this video how we can use a, a simple DAO for restitution DAO. This is actually an example that we created to, to showcase some of the actions that you can take uh, and, and how it works, at least some of the basic functionality. So this, this DAO, which we call restitution DAO 2.aragonid.if, this just is the kind of like a subdomain. So when you create it with this system called Aragon, you always get this suffix at the end. Uh, but I think this could be changed. Uh, this DAO is pretty straightforward. Uh, right now, it, it only has two, two people, uh, myself and a person that I call Mary, but actually I'm gonna be impersonating Mary. Uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you, and, and first of all, to mention, this DAO is not deployed to Ethereum or to Polygon. It is being deployed to a testnet of Ethereum that's called Rinkeby. So uh, all the things you see here, all the ETH that you see that I'm gonna be using is actually, is it doesn't have any real value. This is just a test net. Okay, so the first action is that I'm gonna be adding a new person to the DAO, right? Because right now it's only two people and in reality, we're gonna have multiple people from, from Togo, maybe 10, maybe 20 people. So we're gonna add one by one. So I'm gonna go to add tokens. And the idea is that when, when you vote, the, 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 you vote by, uh, by showing that you own a, the, a token of the DAO, right? So this DAO has a token called SOCP2. SOC it's an example token. Uh, and so each person of the DAO is gonna have only one token. So it's basically it's one person, one vote, right? The, if, this could be configured differently if you want, for example, different distribution of votes, like more people with more power to vote, so they will have more tokens. But in this configuration, specifically, it's only one person per vote. So we're going to have to define the, the Ethereum address of this person and how many tokens. And as I mentioned, you can only define one. If I try to define more, you're going to see here an error say, hey, you can only assign one. And the address... I need to unlock first my ledger to be able to use all these things. It's actually connected to my to my hardware wallet. Uh, just a sec while I configure or unblock. So ready to sign. Okay, all good. So I'm gonna be adding Peter to that, right? Because we have David, we have Mary. Let's add Peter. So I'm gonna copy the the address i'm gonna paste it here uh right peter so and i click add tokens so basically this is a request to add the person to the dao so this is going to create a, a transaction in the blockchain that i'm going to have to approve and to sign uh so i'm going to sign here with my ledger so it's, it's processing now so once it's finished the person is not going to have access to the DAO yet. What's going to happen is that a, a, a vote is going to be automatically created. As you can see here, right? This vote was created. And if we click, it says mint one token for Peter. Basically say, let's give Peter access to the DAO. The, the description is a little bit uh, abstract. Uh, let's keep in mind that these technologies are very new still. Technology is still rough around the edges, but this is going to keep improving over time and we're going to keep uh, researching different tools to see which one is going to give us more flexibility. But for now, we're going to have the vote. And uh, so I'm going to just vote yes to give Peter access to the DAO. So again, I have to sign the transaction to, to approve it in the blockchain. So it is signed or it's been signed. Let's wait a little bit. And in short, okay. So we can see that I I voted for yes. I can change my vote just because there's a, a, a timer. You can modify your vote until the timer expires. And you can see here that in, in this configuration of the DAO, you need at least 50% of all the yes votes to, to be to be yes in this case to approve the, the vote and you need a minimal quorum of 15% of the of the total 
Um, so if, if the time expires and these two things are in green as they are right now, the, the vote passes. But to speed it up because this is a whole day, I can actually go back to, if I go to, back to voting, I'm gonna log in as Mary, the other person of the DAO and just vote like, uh, like I'm here. So I'm just gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Mary and disconnect and connect again. Now I'm connected as Mary. So now I can vote, right? I'm gonna click yes to approve Peter being part of the DAO. I create a transaction, I'm gonna sign it. And I wait until the blockchain process the transaction. Takes a little bit. Notice up until now, Peter doesn't have access to the DAO, right? The vote needs to be approved before Peter can actually have access to the DAO, he can actually vote. A anyone can actually access this interface. It's only people who belong to the DAO are able to vote and to do things, right? But anyone can see what's happening here. So the, the DAO is pretty open. Uh, so now you can see that the the vote has passed. It has been enacted. So now when we go to back to tokens, we can see that we have a third person now, Peter, as part of the DAO. Um, so one more thing to show you is that a DAO, well, in, in a DAO you can create a, a, a vote for anything, right? It doesn't need to be just to other person. I can just say, hey, let's create a new vote that say, should... Should the DAO mint NFTs, right? Like a, a question for anyone or everyone on the DAO to vote. And you just create the, the vote. As, as usually you have to sign this on, on the blockchain. So I have it signed. Let's wait until it's processed. And if we wait a little bit more, it's been processed. It hasn't finished yet. It's completed, I think. So it should update in a moment, right? So here we have, we have the new vote. Should the DAO mint NFTs? And now anyone in the DAO can vote and you will have results. So I'm not gonna do this again. You get the idea. Uh, the DAO also has its treasury, right? So you go here to the finance section and right now the DAO has 1.1 ETH and, and you can request to do things with the with that uh, treasury. For example, I can say, let's do a new withdrawal. This is a proposal. So I propose to withdraw, let's say 0 0.3 ETH. No, I have to put the address here. So let me add an address here of Peter. Like, it can be any address. It doesn't need to be someone from the DAO. But let's take this one so we can verify. This one has 0 0.1 ETH, right? So let's check that this works. I think I was logged in as Mary. Yeah. So let's put the address of Peter and oops, wait, let's do that again. And I'm gonna do a withdrawal Peter and 0 0.3 ETH, right? That's the, because the only coin that we have in the, in the DAO right now. And as a reference, this is a um, payment for services, right? Let's say the DAO needs to pay Peter for some services. So you submit the withdrawal, but again, this is, you're gonna have to, sorry, you're gonna have to sign the transactions first as, as always. So we're here, I approve. Wait until it's processed. Notice that it still says 1.1, nothing has been withdrawn yet from the treasury because this is gonna create a, a vote on the DAO. So every member, not every member, but you know, at least 50% of people who voted needs to vote yes, and it has to be a minimal quorum for uh, a vote to pass. So as you can see here, we go to voting, we're gonna see uh, create a new payment of 0 0.3 ETH to Peter for payment for services, right? So if I I logged in as mayor, I'm gonna just vote yes. Sign here. I wait for the transaction to complete. The vote is not gonna pass yet because now we have three people in the DAO and we need at least 50% of all the votes or like a simple majority. 
so let's wait for a moment it should refresh now with my yeah so i would yes uh but now i'm gonna log in as as david as, as myself so i'm just gonna switch i'm gonna switch to my account here david and i'm gonna disconnect and connect again so now i'm logged in as david and and now as David, I haven't voted yet, so I'm just going to vote here as well. I signed the transaction. And this should be, with, with two votes, should be enough to enact this proposal. And the Treasury will be able to release the funds to Peter. And we're going to verify that that is happening. So now to vote, so it's been pass is enacted so if we go back to finance we should see now a deduction right so it was 1.1 now and now it's 0 0.8 and you can see all the the history of all the transactions right this is this is public again anyone can enter and see the DAO it's only people who belong to the DAO can do things with the treasury can propose voting and things like that so now if I go to Peter's account you see that now Peter has 0 0.4 ETH, right? It has 0 0.1 ETH, so it proves that it actually the withdrawn work. So just a, a, a high level overview of how an, a DAO can be created with, with Aragon. Um, more things can be customized in the future and with other tools, but this gives a rough idea of how a DAO should work or could work.